I know you had a promotion on social media, the 12 days of Christmas and Ja. There, was there something you saw or why did you give those shoes to that person in particular? Um, I can tell. Um, I actually seen him in warm-up. So I could tell, you know, how big of a fan he was. He was screaming my name, cheering for me, making shots in warm-up. So um, I knew he was a big fan. And um, I'm actually um, doing this uh, thing, you know, where I give a pair of my shoe out. Um, obviously, I know a lot of people want them right now, and, you know, it's not uh, released yet for, you know, in-store and online. Um, and I read the sign, and, you know, I from then on, I knew, you know, who was getting a pair of shoes. And you can tell how much he, he wanted it and loved it. So um, it's a great thing to see. Um, leaves you speechless, you know, when you see, you know, somebody, you know, that big of a fan of you to, you know, bust out and cry, and then it was even, you know, more crazy, you know, to see his mom crying as well. Uh, you know, I know, you know, that touched, you know, both of their hearts, and, you know, it's something they'll never forget. So, yeah. Uh, ja, just how would you describe Stevo's va the value he brings in the trenches? I mean, with his rebounding, his yeah, defensive that's activity. Right, yeah, that's where he at right there, he in the trenches. Yeah, how would you describe I, it? I don't think no uh, nobody else want to, you know, go down there <laughs> and battle with him. Um, yeah, I feel like he's just a man amongst boys at that point. You know, he's just the man in the paint on, you know, both ends, uh, wherever it's defensive or offensive. And, uh, he's been very big time for us back-to-back, -back, you know, 20-plus, you know, rebound games, which we know we need and, you know, it's something we have to do. And, you know, he took it upon himself to, you know, go and, you know, do that for us. Obviously, you know, uh, we still got to, you know, help him on the board. We can't just – Say, you know, yeah, Steve-O um, going to get the rebound, but we know he's down there somewhere, and eventually, you know, he'll get it. So, Talk about the connection between you and Ty, where everything's working so smooth. Because I remember your rookie year, y'all kind of played on the court sometimes. It didn't really – it wasn't working as smooth. But now talk about just connection as y'all built throughout the years. No, that's my dog, man. You know, obviously, you know, we talk, you know, amongst each other a lot. Um, you know, we both point guards. You know, we got to, you know, tell each other what we see on the floor. Um, if I pass up a shot um, that, you know, is a turnover or, you know, a miss and, you know, he'll let me know and it's vice versa. But, you know, as far as our chemistry, um, you know, I feel like it's just tough to guard. You know, you have guys, uh, two guys out there on the floor who can create for everybody and themselves. And, you know, it allows us to, you know, get out and run, you know, even more. Um, you know, I don't have to be on the ball all the time. I'm not saying I do, you know, when he's out, but, uh, we can run, you know, different actions, you know, for, you know, both the both of us. And um, we just know, you know, what each other's looking for because, you know, it's what we look for um, when we out there on the floor, you know, with the others. And, you know, it's what we see. So it's just that, you know, connection. I feel like, you know, you really much, you can't, you know, explain, uh, but it's there. And, you know, it, it's working for us. John, in the fourth quarter, um, I think two minutes or three minutes left, the Kings made a final run to cut the lead uh, to seven, and then coach called a timeout. So what, what was his message during that timeout that made you guys uh, secure the win at the end of the stretch? Um, you know, it was obviously a timeout, you know, to kill momentum. But, um, you know, I feel like we've gotten better to where, you know, coach don't have to say too much to us for us to know, you know, what we got to do on the floor and, you know, what we've done wrong. And, you know, pretty much, at, you know, in that timeout, you know, everybody's, you know, message and mindset is, is winning time and it's who going, you know, get more stops, you know, during that time and who going to execute on the other end. And, you know, that's pretty much what we came out and did. Go, going back to Ty, how have you seen his three-point shot kind of develop and where, where is his confidence in that come from and what sort of difference tonight did that provide? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's funny you ask that because me and him actually got this – um, little thing I've be, been telling him, um, obviously, you know, we play opposing teams, you know, uh, we find out who the main shooters is and, you know, we call out the percentages on, you know, certain areas. And um, I forgot who it was, but it had like a high percentage. I think it was like 50. And, I, and he was like, he did like a whistle, like, dang. And I'm like, bro, you almost up there too. And I'm like, what's yours? He's like, I don't know. I ain't looking. And he won't allow me to look. And you know, since then, he's been shooting the ball, you know, incredibly well and shooting it with confidence. And obviously, it helps on, on uh, us on the floor um, with no floor space and then, you know, obviously, three-point shoot. 
Hey, Joe, this is the second night <clears throat> that y'all at least tied the series, season series with the team. You know, Sacramento tonight, the worst you can do is win. You play them again in two weeks. I know the West is competitive. So there in, in the West, there's no night off, man. So how are you able to keep that intensity every night and every day because there's no night off in the West? It got to be a mindset. You got to want it. Um, you just got to come out and, you know, be ready to play, um, you know, from top to bottom. Uh, it has to be everybody. Um, and, you know, that's our uh, message right now, you know, to each other um, as a team. You know, we got to come out and play, you know, no matter if we're playing a Western Conference or an Eastern Conference team or if we're playing a team, you know, who down main guys, you know, we got to still come out and play and, you know, go out and, you know, make a statement and win the basketball game. Along those lines, Job, this stretch you guys just – went through here for a couple weeks where you played a lot of really good teams. Um, the way you guys navigated, you know, you had a little rough patch, but now you've come out of it, win three in a row. Did it reinforce anything to you guys about, like, what make what's going to make you guys get to where you want to get to this season? Um, I feel like, you know, we had that stretch when we went on that, you know, big little win streak, um, which, you know, during that stretch we was bringing it every night. Obviously, you know, we dropped some games where – you know, we came out lazy, um, and the team, you know, basically punched us in the mouth first. And, you know, now it's just making sure, you know, we throw that first punch and, you know, continue to play and keep our foot on the gas, you know, for a full 48 minutes. Um, and, you know, as of late, um, I can say, you know, we pretty much, you know, bring it for half of the game. Obviously, we got to fix, um, you know, our first and third quarter, but uh, we're getting there, and it's a work in progress. So.